Umar, Umar, Umar Johnson. Like I always say, I would never call you Dr. Umar. You haven't shown me nothing that proved to me that you're a doctor or proved to me that you deserve that respect of a doctor. Because, you know, by the looks of you, you don't look like you put the, you put the, put the blood, sweat, and tears in being a doctor. You're a shortcut man. Anyway. Bro, I listen to you, listen to you. And what I hear all the time from you is, is, yeah, 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 black this, yeah, black that, yeah, black don't know this, yeah, black don't know that. You only got, you only put this mess, do black this, black that. You talk about Obama. You know, look, man. I'm, I'm a type of person, look. If I'm take the good from a person, I want I want to hear the bad from the person. So I know I can trust that person. That person, you can't trust nobody if you don't know his, he or she's skeletons in her closet, he or hers or his closet. You know his person skeleton. That person tell you what's his weaknesses, and he's fighting against that weakness every day, and he's trying to be a stand up person. You can trust that person. That that person tells you what's his issues and he's sorry for it and he's trying to fight for it. But you mm mm. Mm mm. You know, you going and you fighting against Obama. Talking about he this, he that Dr. Martin King probably wouldn't like him. You know, Omar, sometimes things don't show right away how effective they are, how much they're going to help you. They might not help you right away. Do you know people were saying the same thing about Social Security? Do you know people said that was the wrong thing to do when the president at the time did Social Security? And look at it now. It is... It, 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 it literally, on a year-to-year basis, helps and dish out over a billion dollars a year for veterans, for special need mm-hmm. kids, um, um, mm-hmm. elderly elderly people, um, you know, people from the war that you know fought for our country, and now. He or she can't do it, can't can't go to work on a daily basis. You know, so people like that, Social Security has done wonders for and will keep on doing wonders. You know, Obama, you know, he ain't perfect. He's far from perfect. But he also far from the problem. You know, you 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 say, oh, why are these, you know, why African Americans like the Democrats for? You know, they just going for it. They ain't doing their homework and checking on these Democrats and why they you know black people uh, the black community like Democrats. Well if they did their homework on you Umar, you wouldn't be where you at right now. Because to tell the truth, every time somebody asks you about your background, you call them a coon or a sellout, or you just don't answer the question. See, that's a that's not that's not a leader to me. Imagine question: Why you think they? Why? Why is being a leader one of the hardest things to do, Umar? Why do you think being a leader is hard, man? It is a very, very hard thing to do and be. Why do you think that, Umar? Why do you think it's hard? Why do you think it ain't like got these deadbeat parents out here? Why do you think that's so? Because being a father or mother is it's hard. 
very hard. You know, instead of you always trying to break down and make sure everybody hear you say Obama didn't do this or Obama didn't do that. But you appraise Jay-Z and Oprah. <laughs> but Jay-Z and Oprah praises Obama. So, which one is it, Omar? Umar, sorry, Umar, which one is it? Are you going to praise Jay-Z and Oprah still? Because you're not praising Obama, so which one is it? Which one is it, brother? It's a funny thing, bro. It's a funny thing about people that run their mouth. You tend to find out how much they really know, how much they really, really is about doing things the right way, doing things the way that it should be done and not the way everybody else want, want you to do it. See, like I always say about you, oh, Umar, you tell people what they want to hear. Not what they want, not what they need to hear. And you always, always find ways to throw Obama under the bus. Throw this person under the bus. Definitely throw every white person under the bus. Brother, it is some good white people out in this world. Just like it's good black, good black people in this world. But it's also terrible black people and terrible white people in this world. You know, it's it, it, it's it's amazing to me how this world is so freaking, you know, it, 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 it's so turned upside down. You know, Umar, I, you know, I. I I, I, I hate the fact that PETA and, and 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 the gay and lesbian community and PETA and 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 people like that they jump up and fight for animals and and protest for animal rights and you know back when Michael Vick did that stupid stuff with the dogs they wanted that man not to even have a job. Peter was fighting for him not to have a job, not for his family to eat, kids to eat. Gay and lesbian community, up in arms if somebody say, you faggot, or you, you, you homo, you peanut butter chaser, Ugh, you faggot, get out of here, you shouldn't be doing this. I ain't with that neither. That's, that's just childish. But, like I always say, I would love for somebody to have some balls, Umar, instead of beating the president down. How about you say, hey, PETA, hey, gay and lesbian community, how about you protest for um, police brutality on, on an African-American or PETA? How about you get off your butt instead of just fighting for somebody not to have a bear to feed his kids and stuff? Fighting for Michael Vick, not that job. How about you fight for, hey, police brutality? Because I don't think it's really fair that you can you pick and choose when you wanna, when you wanna fight. Because this world don't stop being evil. So why do you only pick and choose? You know, lesbian, gay rights. Y'all wanna fight for y'all equal rights? Fight for it, man. I'm not telling you not to, but don't pick and choose when you wanna fight. Because you know what? I like to see the lesbian and gay, gay community fight for police brutality, not against this black, this period. So that's what, you know, brother, that's what I don't like about you. You know, black, you need, we need black schools for, or the, for, the, for the black community. You know, black community, black kids need to be, need to, need to just be the Marcus Darby school or this and that no brother 
all kids need to need to be at this school. Not just the black community kids. Not just for uh, single black moms. It's single white moms. Right? It's, it's white kids that get, get abandoned just as much as a black kid get abandoned. Why is it always got to be labels? Look black, black, or white, white. Brother. I always just see your face on these freaking YouTube channels. This, this and that. Talking about, oh, if you got, if you, if, if you're hurt and you, you love a, a Caucasian uh, white girl or a Caucasian white guy, you ain't, you, you can't be, you ain't no brother. You sound so stupid saying that. I, I don't, you know, bro, you, 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 you just, you literally just wasting breath it's doing that crap. You waste, you are a waste. You are, you, you, you sound so dumb. You sound so dumb. You know. That's what being a leader is. A, is one of the, the best things out there. Being a leader. In my opinion. I love being a leader. Because you know what? Even though you got made tough choices. At least you had a ch- At least you are able to make a choice. For somebody's life to go. This good or bad. But. You preach nothing but hate. Nothing but hate. And you know, I hear you say about these churches, this, this church, that. You know what, man? It's brothers like you that's pastors in these churches. These unbelievable massive churches. White churches, too. I think it is so dumb to have these massive churches. These big Big stupid looking churches that literally, literally has coffee shops inside of churches. Are you kidding me? When do churches? I never seen a, uh, I never seen a preacher need a cup of latte coffee after he gets done preaching. Why in the heck are these churches having DVDs made? Or having big screen TVs in a freaking church. The greatest, greatest thing to ever touch the earth. Literally walk to his people riding a donkey. A donkey. Not no goddamn Bentley. Not no goddamn stallion horse. A donkey. A donkey. Because you know why? That man is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful man. Because you know what? He is who he is. Because of people he has to deal with like you. In these stupidity, massive churches. Kanye making a mockery of this crap. Talking about he want a church. Snoop making a freaking... Uh, CD, a church, knowing after these dudes get done talking church, they firing up a blunt. You no, know they firing up a blunt. To me, that is such a smack in the face of quote unquote celebrities. Umar, you want to be a celebrity so bad, it's killing you. Killing you. Now, Umar, let's go back to the do background checks. They did a background check on you. Could you really say to yourself that you'd be where you at? Or would people say, man, you ain't nothing but a con artist, bro. You ain't mother effing con artist. That's all you are, Umar. That's all you are is a con artist. Con artist. You know, you can talk about this, dude. But why can't you talk about where the money goes? You know, you know, I ain't about to cry about spilled milk. You know what? I ain't, ain't going to be like everybody else. Just keep asking you about the money, the money. Because we know what you know what you did with the money. Everybody know. Everybody know. You know You know that everybody know what you did with it, bro. 
Jesus ain't man enough to admit it. Bro, you ain't going to get nowhere till you, till, you, till you start being a stand-up person and say, you know what? I messed up with the money. What can we do about it? Not you. Not you. You want to take the defensive stand and keep calling people coons and sellouts. Coons and sellouts, huh? Coons and sellouts. And you know, Umar, you know, I uh, say, so, you know, uh, one more thing. You know, he's talking about you and a real brother because if you are married to a white woman or married to a white guy, Umar. I've been married for 22 years. We've been together for 22 years, married for 18. I love her. And while we have fights, just like an African American couple have fights. We bleed the same color of an African American couple bleed. We had the same problems that African American couples have. We struggle. But every night, we go to bed, we say the same thing an African American couple will say to each other. I love you. And Umar, I got the worst news possible. When I heard my Caucasian white devil wife got ovarian cancer. She's 39 years old. 39. Umar. 39 years old with ovarian cancer. Umar. Every day I look at her and I say, I ask men above why. Why? I know we ain't perfect. I know we did things that I ain't proud of. But why? You know, but it ain't my place to to know. Ain't my place to question the man above. Because he he's a wonderful God. Wonderful God. Wonderful. He's the only thing on this earth I die for before I die for my family. And I die for my wife. If I can take that cancer from her, I'll take it from her. Umar, cancer don't know no color neither. Cancer will take anybody. African American, Caucasian, Puerto Rican, or Jewish. Cancer has no, no problem taking them. None. And I'm a black man. And I'm a black man that would die for my wife. Die for that Caucasian wife that you said, I'm not a black man because he's Caucasian. Two more, I deal with people like you growing up. People like you. Y'all are 
simple minded idiots. That try to get rises out of people because you are a a, a idiot that has skeleton in your closets that think y'all can hide them because they're in the dark. You think y'all better than people because y'all y'all can hide y'all skeleton better as y'all think. But as you always know, what's done in the dark come to light. It's such a simple thing too. But y'all idiots always try to beat it. Always think y'all got the way to hide y'all skeletons better than anybody else. People like y'all take shortcuts. People take shortcuts usually are pretty good liars too. And what I learn about people that take shortcuts and people that love to hide their skeletons is they love to talk. They talk more and more. Because liars gotta talk. They gotta keep covering up what they're trying to hide. See, liars have to cover up the lie that is told. Because if they don't cover up that lie, they scared their skeletons might come out of the closet. So, when you take shortcuts, you always plan to catch up in life. Because you always worried about that person figuring you out. And Umar, the more you talk, the more I'm going to figure you out, bro. The more I figure you out, the more I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it to your doorstep. Because Umar, you are the modern day terrorist. Black terrorists. Because you're doing a dangerous game by telling people what they what you think they want to hear. You're trying to get likes and and followers and and whatever else this new age have people doing. See, and, and that's the thing to uh, that's the difference between me and you, bro. I'm not looking for no subscribers. I'm not looking for no followers. I'm just trying to pick my two cents in and continue to try to break you down. I have nothing to hide, Omar. Nothing to hide. I'm 40 years old, three kids, one son that ain't don't know how to figure life out yet. And like I said earlier, I got a 39-year-old wife with ovarian cancer, and she Caucasian. I got a daughter and a, and another and my and the youngest son. So, like I said before, Umar. you stop trying to tear leaders down and once you try being a leader yourself then maybe you might understand why some of the things you say is so asinine and start trying to be on TV everywhere be on the internet everywhere because the greatest man to ever step on this earth didn't need no Bentley. Didn't need no goddamn uh, subscribers or followers. The greatest, the greatest man ever came to see his people on a donkey. A donkey. 
and to all these pastors that need these mega churches. The person y'all supposedly praising. Why don't y'all take a look too? That man came in on a donkey to see his people on a donkey. Y'all asinine pastors needing personal jets to get around to spread your word. <laughs> you know the simple way of spreading word is word of mouth. <laughs> so you always go back to be a leader, bro. That's why being a leader is great because other people talk for you. Talk for you, not talk at you. See how beautiful that is, being a leader? Because your people would know. He would die for you just as much as they would die for you. He would die for his people. And his people would die for him. Not you, Umar. You would never get that, bro. Never. Never. The last time I checked, bro, I'm aiming like this. I am still a brother. I'm still black and I still get I still get looks in the store when I walk in and when I walk out. And I still got a Caucasian wife. And I'm still a brother. So, I think you better check. I think you better check yourself on that. Cause if we got a Caucasian husband or a Caucasian wife, we ain't black no more. <laughs> you think you black cause you scream African Frederick Douglass and all that bullcrap? You be screaming cause you wear an African shirt. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Only, only, only color you worry about is green. That's the only, only color you worry about. The only color you worry about. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 bro. Hey, bro. I mean, bro, I don't, I don't dislike you. I don't know you. You don't know me. I just don't like. I just don't like bad people. I don't like hearing people be mean for no reason. I'm not afraid to say it. I never will be. You know, a closed mouth don't get fed. You know, maybe you should worry about that one day.